Mm. Let me move on to capitalism. You just wrote a book on it. Capitalism versus socialism seems to be a setup going into 2020. Uh, what do you think of the socialist agenda of people like, for example, Bernie Sanders, Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, where we're seeing ideas for big federal programs to address health care, Medicare for all, obviously the Green New Deal. What's your take on what you're hearing these days uh, in terms of those programs? Beware of double entry bookkeeping. It's only one side of an issue. The question is, where is the funding coming from, and what does it do to the inflation problem? And uh, because the inflation hasn't taken hold, nobody is looking meaningfully at the budget deficit, which is now beginning to rise fairly significantly. Yes, and, and, and as interest rates move, obviously the debt becomes that much more expensive, but so far we're not really seeing much movement there. Uh, we're seeing actually rates stay pretty low. Capitalism versus socialism. Income inequality is obviously the issue sparking many people who have been capitalists to say capitalism needs some tweaking. Your reaction? Well, remember that the basic problem of inequality is the fact that people are born that way. We're all born differently. And when you get convert that problem into the marketplace, normally you have a significant maldistribution of income. And it's only when we look at it and say this is un unfortunate for the stability of the system, which I think it is, uh, it's very difficult to do all that much because you're fighting, you're fighting a fundamental issue, which is human nature. Mm. Uh, we're doing the best we can, but uh, how it turns out politically, I can't really well, tell. Well, there doesn't seem to be an alternative to free enterprise. Capitalism lifts many boats. Capitalism, and correct me if I'm wrong, but capitalism takes people out of poverty. That's the best you're going to get. Uh, it's a very good thing. Because remember, look, uh, the United States, uh, with all of its problems, started back uh, very early on in the 1800s, for example, very low per capita income, very small relative to Europe. We outpaced the rest of the world basically because it was a capitalist economy. The private enterprise was the crucial issue, and individuals basically during the post-Civil War period, the American economy took off. Uh, outpaced everybody. We're still way ahead of the everybody yeah, else. I could not agree more. Um, so these issues around socialism, uh, replacing capitalism, are just misguided. Well, the question is, uh, the history of socialism is that it's failed in every place it's been tried. That's right. The, the, Most notably, to... Venezuela was the richest country in that region at one point. It's really very sad because... It, it, they still have the largest oil reserves in the world. That used to be a major international economy. No longer. Yeah. Dr. Greenspan, it's great to see you. Thanks very much.